Good evening. It is Monday, May 13th at 5 p.m. We will now call to order the Public Safety Committee meeting for the Village of Summers. Present in the hall is myself, Chris Dubeck. Chris Marino. And Ryan um, Seacard. And also all the So we will go ahead and review the March, uh, April 8th minutes. I didn't notice anything that you need to change on that. I'm going to no. Ryan, have you had a chance to review? Yes, I did. And then uh, I'll make a motion to pass the minutes. Okay. First. first and second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Inside? And that carries. So for unfinished business, we have discussion, possible recommendation, piece of days, parade route. So we have two proposed routes. So I can kind of go a little bit of the evolution of this, I guess, but uh, so at our last full board meeting, we didn't have anyone from Alliance Club or anyone representing Peace Soup Day Parade. And uh, the board had reviewed and approved the uh, the one that I drew up. Uh, prior to the last board meeting, um, you know, Bart, myself, Bob, uh, Dave had a conversation and Bart kind of highlighted some concerns with this route that they necessarily um, wasn't in the best Logistically, it sounds like there's some bathrooms that are used up at the school um, for those those people. There's better parking up there. Um, since then, you know, BART and uh, the organization went out and got permission from the school district to use um, their parking lots. So uh, that's kind of the, the evolution of it. Okay. So it's still going to be the fun? So what Bart's proposing here is uh, kind of starting, instead of starting up on uh, Bruce Larson Way, we're going to start an intersection down by the roundabout, and they're going to stage in the middle school and high school parking lot, and we can push off from there and then head down the center. So they will come down the center to Main Street, make a left. When you get to Depot Street, it's done. Disperse and go wherever you want. Okay. That'll keep Boutre open for longer for traffic. Sure. So I spoke, you know, with the school district. I spoke with Shannon Donnelly. She's okay with this. I spoke with their maintenance ground supervisor. They're, he's okay with this. Um, Shannon did mention that there's probably going to be construction going on for this auditorium mm -hmm. around that time. They're not sure when the exact dates are for groundbreaking for that, but um, it shouldn't affect anything in those front no, lines. That's in the back of the school anyway. Right. right. Oh, terrific. Okay. Any other concerns? No. Nope. Originally, like it was my understanding that we couldn't use the school district at all. And technically, you know, this is a street use permit that we're trying to approve the village's jurisdiction over our streets. The school is a separate entity. Um, there was a recommendation I, at some point when we talked with uh, Bob and Bart and Dave that uh, the school be listed, one of the insured through whatever insurance company that. Uh, Lions in the national. <laughs> Any of that Lions do work for at least a million dollars from the Lions International. So. Okay. And then is the village a named insured on that? Well, I think Dave puts additional insurance too from okay. for the PSU Dave advance. And you know, was the school specifically requesting that? I don't know. But they did give us permission. To use this route, yeah, which has been used in the past. It started at the school ever for 15 years or more, I'm sure. 
Okay. No. Did Ryan have anything? No, I have no gout concerns over it. I mean, it's I'm familiar with the route, a little bit of modifications. So I've seen that. See, I've seen the seen the map. And apologize, my dog wants to get in the picture here. So, um, uh, so yeah, I have no no concerns about it. And you know, and I'm, I'm a member of the Lions Club, so I will be abstaining on this. But, um, um, but uh, yeah, on the insurance issues, um, you know. Bart is correct. That's but you know he's been a member as long as I have, or longer actually. Um, you know, so I have no concerns there with their blanket policy. So this was originally uh, okay. Applying or denied by Public Works. Right? <laughs> Last I talked about, he, he said if you're good with it, he's good with it. So okay, I'll be attending that meeting Wednesday. Okay. Okay, well, I make a motion to approve the um, route as presented tonight, starting at uh, roundabout from the middle school to the high school. Yeah, I'm finishing at, at Depot. Yep. Looks like. Yep, I'll second that. Sure. Okay. Great. And we will get that recommended then to, well, we'll mention that to Public Works and then. We'll see what happens on the next Tuesday. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks, Mark. Thank you for coming. We appreciate that. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. A little more formal. Uh, we have first and second. Do we have any further discussion? Seeing none. All in favor, say aye. 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 Dane. Yep. And one abstention. Great. Thank you. Okay. We'll move on then to new business. Discussion possible recommendation special event parking ordinance. So this is something that uh, Farrell and I put together. So essentially, uh, last year we had a lot of issues with people asking us during concerts how much was a parking ticket, and they were choosing a thirty-five dollar parking ticket. Uh, and the risk of their vehicle being towed versus um, parking at the venue. Their argument was that uh, they can get in and out easier and quicker, uh, even though parking was included with their ticket. Uh, they chose to use surface level streets, despite signs that say you no event parking, no parking during events. Um, so what we're doing here, we looked at our ordinance. The ordinance allowed, you know, anywhere between $25 and $100 um, for that particular bond. And we're we're asking that it be adjusted from the current $35 to uh, $100. As a determined. Yes, yes. Um, so one concert last year, we had approximately 300 violators. We just we were writing parking tickets for a week at, weeks after. We, we took uh, photos of it, uh, each violator. Uh, we were sending tickets out in the mail, and it was it's just a very long process. Even with all seven of us, you know, writing these, uh, we we'd much prefer voluntary compliance yeah. over uh, tickets. We are work, reworking our signage this year too, uh, in an effort to, you know, be a little bit more visible and. Um, clear with who's allowed to park where. Mm -hmm. um, but last year, I believe there was, in my personal opinion, that there was, there's a lot of signage and people just, at a certain point, they follow what the person in front of them is doing and they just choose to park where. But this year, I'd like to see those uh, orange stakes put in with the uh, with the orange signs that say no parking. Um, we do have that uh, Local residents will have a placard that they're able to hang in their mirror um, to park. But uh, beyond that, if their registration doesn't come back to Somerset, they'd be eligible for one of these tickets. Question, Chief. 
yeah. it, I mean, I, I understand the concept and the proposal, and I'm fine with that. I mean, I'm just going to ask this for the record. Um, you think 100, 100 maximum for special events is is sufficient? Yeah. You know, I was, it's listed as a range. That's why I'm asking. Yeah. So the, the range, 100 is the max we can do for that one. Like there's some other ones that, if you go through the sheet that go up to like $500, there's one down here that goes up to $2,000. Uh, but the range for this temporary parking restriction for special events, which is uh, ordinance 10 1 21 sub B. Yep. Uh, yeah, it's 100 bucks. I think 100 bucks. Is a pretty good deterrent in my opinion. <laughs> well, I, I have no problem with it being at a hundred bucks. I'm just saying that having a higher maximum give you more latitude for a, someone that's more habitual or a continuous, yeah, problem for you. Um, right, is what I'm getting at. Yeah, because last year we had, oh, how much is a ticket? Oh, yeah, we'll pay that. Just yeah. give me a ticket. I'm like, well, we could be towed too. It's like, well, what's the likelihood that you towed? <laughs> you know. It's like, uh, we're not trying so, to roll with and this. that's why i'm and that's why i'm asking is you know um i, I know i've done enough ride alongs and been with you guys over the years um to see the um people you deal with that sometimes can be uh very frustrating to deal with when you have more important things with to deal with than parking right and, and um but yet you need to enforce these ordinances that are sometimes not as important, but they are important to the residents, um, right. you know? So that's why I'm getting at in terms of the range is, and, you know, um, is it sufficient? And if that, and if you're comfortable with it, then I am as well, so. Yeah, I'd like to try this. Okay, then I am fine. I'll make a motion to recommend the uh, special event parking bond, um, Revisions to the village board. Real second. We have a first and second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Seeing none. Well, she passes. <laughs> All right. The next item on the agenda discussion possible recommendation 2024 2025 license. So Ryan, have you had a chance to review these? The yeah, I have. I have. Um, my question is: there any change from the previous year or previous years at all on any of these? Um, do we know that? Uh, there was a slight name change on one. I think I noticed. Uh, okay. Other than a, other than an, a, an owner or name change or an agent change, um, no changes to uh, list itself. covered no. covered areas. Or band or uh, beer garden areas, um, then you know I have no problem with any of them or the agents at all. So, well, I have had a chance to review the applications and the supplemental documentation as well. So I will make a recommendation to approve the Class A beer and Class A liquor license renewal applications. For Speedway number 7843 APG Wisconsin LLC and Class A beer and Class A liquor license renewal application for Liquor Depot ML Vana Inc. Class B beer and Class C liquor renewal application for Quick Trip number 1074. Let's look at Class B and Class B. Oh, Class B, Class B beer and Class B liquor. I'm sorry, did I mistake? You said C. Okay, I'm sorry. That's okay. Yeah. Um, so I'll reread that one. Class B beer and Class B liquor, like liquor renewal application, quick trip number 1074. And Class B beer and Class B liquor renewal application, General Sam's Inc. Beer garden permit as well for General Sam's. Class B beer and Class B liquor renewal application, Apple River Liquor, Apple River Solutions LLC. Beer garden permit for Apple River Liquor. Class B beer and Class B liquor renewal application, Sportsman's Bar and Grill, MAJ Inc. 
beer garden permit, Sportsman's Bar and Grill. Class B beer and Class B liquor renewal application, Rendezvous, Patrick and Susan Ring, LLC. Beer garden permit for Rendezvous. Class B beer and Class B liquor renewal application, Summer Star Entertainment, LLC. Class A beer and Class C liquor renewal application, Dick's Fresh Market, Somerset Foods, Inc. I'll second it. Any further Chris discussion? Me. None for me. Okay. So all in favor say aye. 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 And not opposed. Okay. So next is the discussion possible recommendation for the 2024 2025 license agents. And again, I've had a chance to renew all of the applications. So I will make a motion to recommend Trady, Tracy Botfelson at Speedway. Sorry if I said that wrong. Ryan Bahas, Liquor Depot, Allison Howard, Quick Trip, John Munn Pettit, General Sam's, Rebecca Newman, Apple River Liquor, Edward Pasikas, Sportsman's Bar and Grill, Patrick Wint Ring, Rendezvous, Eugene Lallier, Summer Star Entertainment, and Doug Reinhardt for Dick's Fresh Market. I will second. Thank you. Any further discussion? And hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. All approved. Uh, one moment, we'll go on to the minister report and budget report. Okay. I didn't see anything that stands out. Me neither. Unusual. No, I mean. They're on less than 31 percent, or they're a little over 31 percent, and it's over, you know, 31 percent of the year. So I mean, they're, you know, doing well. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that is received. Now the 2024 budget report for the police department. Same general comment without you know reviewing every single light item, but I mean ultimately what we're all concerned about is the the bottom line, and they're at twenty eight point nine three percent. And again, we're more than you know we're into our fifth month, and that's more than you know three quarters of the year, and they're less than or excuse me one quarter of the year. So they're within within range. Like anything you'd like to say about this, Chief? Uh, I don't think so. We're under 31%, I'll say that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You okay. haven't got to your expensive season yet, Chief. <laughs> yeah, this is true. Yeah. This is true. <laughs> okay. And would you like to give your report? Sure. Yeah. So in the packet, we have our uh, call for service report. From our April incidents. You're staying plenty busy. Yeah, 234 calls for service. Kind of next. <clears throat> then I can uh, segue into our department activities. Um, so last month, John Farrell was promoted from sergeant to lieutenant. And uh, the village is already benefiting from that. His last pay period was over 100 hours, and he's now a salary employee. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> no overtime for him. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, he was also at that jury trial last uh, last month. He made a, a national uh, TV appearance doing that. Um, so Officer Anderson went to A-Ride training, the Vance Roadside Impaired Driving Enforcement. Um, us as a village-wide had a bloodborne pathogen training, um, along with some other emergency response uh, preparedness type training at the, at the village hall. Uh, I did a talk last month at the senior center. Uh, the topic was fraud. Um, so that was, that was actually a lot of fun, well-received. Uh, 
We had a Gracie survival tactics training, which was uh, put on by Sergeant Lieutenant Farrell. Um, I finished my UC medical responder course. So I was the first one to try getting EMR certified uh, in Minnesota, which has reciprocity in Wisconsin. The benefit of that program that was, it was majority 40 hours were like online. And there was a weekend skills course, um, which would save us a lot in overtime opposed to us going to, you know, a local tech college. Um, you know, these guys coming in two hours a night on OT, driving back and forth, et cetera. So uh, I was very pleased with the course. I think uh, the goal is to have all our staff see medical responders, which is the same level of training as uh, um, Somerset Fire Rescue, a lot of those folks. Um, I am working with Travis Belisle to possibly get us credentialed under their umbrella as well. We will start carrying oxygen and some of the stuff they carry in their medical bags, which kind of seems like a the next segue. Well, you first. guys are to a lot of them first. Yes, hundred mm -hmm. percent. So you know, every every little minute counts sometimes. Exactly. Um, Sergeant Farrell did a talk at the Ann School District. And then we've been uh, invited to speak at the school board. Uh, SRO topic is being brought up. Um, it's kind of to be continued. Uh, currently, it's part time. We're looking to possibly go back full time. Um, at the same time, we're exploring this COPS grant, which uh, is how it was originally um, brought to Somerset in 2001 ish. Um, so, so yeah, I think it's turning in a in a positive direction. I think it's good to have dialogue, and uh, excited for the future. Yeah. Yeah, busy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and we're picking up. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Shall we go ahead and review the police and court? One thing I noted on here that made me so happy is seeing the lieutenant bars and shield on there. Yeah. He did, yes. Excellent. And uh, yeah, the badge. I just got him a new uh, business card, or not the card, please ID it. Like this promotion. He said he didn't want a ceremony or anything. So we'll have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's just the report. Uh, the uh, bills are just four pages, and I correct. Just making sure I'm seeing them all correctly. The bills are four pages. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Super brief, though. Yeah. 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 I just want to make sure I was reading the P PDF correctly. So, um, okay. with that, I have no concerns with any of the bills. I will recommend approval to the village board. Second, Chris Bruno. Do we have to approve those? I don't believe we do. I think we're just reviewing them, receiving them. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, traditionally, in the past, when I was involved, we would always recommend the bills to the village board because ultimately they, they approve the bills. So that's true. if there's been a procedural change, I'm fine with that. I'm just saying that's what we did in the past. So Right. Well, it's certainly not going to hurt. I mean, if, I'm sorry. You go ahead and make your, make your, your motion. Yeah. I'll make a motion to recommend the bills for approval to the village board. Sounds good. We'll do that. And I'll have um, that noted on the agenda. We'll check into that so that it's, it's uh, you know. And, and, and again, it may not be necessary. I'm just saying that's historically what we did. I don't see a problem with it. It just shows that we're, in, you know, that we have reviewed it officially and we, we've consented to it. You know, it, you know, it, it, you know, if someone reads our minutes before the board meeting, you know, they would know that we, did review that three of us did review them did consent with them and hopefully it would avoid uh additional discussion at the board meeting is you know sure. if if they believe in the committee process so Knowing that we review them sure sure okay so um all in favor aye aye, aye. <laughs> sounds good and do we have any future agenda items we need to discuss I 
I don't have anything at this present time. Well, then I will make a motion to adjourn. First real, second. Okay, we have a first and second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Perfect. We are adjourned. 525.